this is just a quick video on how to install iOS 13 GM. Um, iOS 13 will be released next week, um, so you really don't have to install it now. If you want to install it now, though, here's what you have to do. You will have to, first of all, um, use iTunes. You can't install it um, normally. You have to download the, um, um, the beta profile. When you download the beta profile, it will, when you go to updates, it'll tell you you have to update to the 13.1 uh, beta 3. But uh, what you want to do is to install uh, 13 uh, GM. Okay, what you have to do to do this is, first of all, you have to use iTunes. And you have to have a PC. Okay, you go to iTunes, and then you have to update iTunes because it has to be the latest version of iTunes. Okay. In addition to that, um, the updates that are used are files, and you can get them from Reddit, and I'll include a link on here to um, where you can get the uh, links. And there are different links depending upon what phone you're using. Okay, and then uh, you have to hook your uh, phone up to iTunes, and um, and then give a bunch of buttons that say trust and all of that, and then. Um, when you go to iTunes, you open up iTunes and you click on your on your device in iTunes, and you open it up. And um, first of all, you make backups of everything. Um, if you don't know the password to your backup on your PC, uh, you need to unclick the thing about encryption. Uh, otherwise, uh, you need to know the password, or you won't be able to put the, the backup on there. If you, ha if you need to do that, and you may need to do that, so it's a good safety precaution. You need to back it up both to computer and also to the um, cloud both. Do both of those. Okay, after you've got all that done, then you hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then click update on, on the update button. And then it will open up a file um, on your PC. And you'll go to this Reddit site that I have and you'll download this file from there. Um, and then you have to install that file. Um, and then eventually after that file has been installed, then you'll have iOS 13 GM. And that's pretty much all there is to it, um, other than that. Uh, the main part features are that you need to do the backup, and um, it's real important to doing the backups of everything in case you run into any issues or anything. And um, you have to have that special file in order to do it, and you can only do it from iTunes. Um, if, once you install your beta profile, um, it will um, only let you put on 13.1 beta 3. Um, and then after you get all this done and you've updated the uh, phone back to normal, um, then you can go in and just delete the profile because you won't need it anymore because you're on 13.1 GM, which is the latest version. And that be the, should be the version that's going to be out next week. Um, and so you already have it. Um, anyway, that's all I have for the day. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And thanks a lot.